Hello and welcome, this is Brandon Wendell, and I am going to go ahead and do a little bit of analysis on the gold and silver futures charts. We'll start off here with the gold daily time frame. You can see that we just kicked off a very good bullish run. It might be coming to a little bit of a stall, not to an end, but you can see we are stalling out just a little bit here on Sunday evening. Uh, we started off well above 40 on the RSI, so a very strong bullish trend with higher lows, higher highs. Should get us up to 1925.9 eventually before a major turndown. And well, I'm not seeing anything holding us up to get there. Or, I'm sorry, holding us up from getting there, I should say. Going down to the four hour time frame, you can see that we've also extended up from our previous impulse about 100%. We duplicated the previous move. So we should be expecting a bit of a pullback right now. We do have a four hour demand at 1828.7, but I don't think we're pulling back that far. If we uh, to, also, you can see the momentum's died off. Notice the RSI is pointing down while prices were pointing up. It's called negative divergence that leads to a pullback typically in price. So on the 60 minute time frame, we have one area of demand right here, 1828.7, the initial move up. We still have some bullish activity where we're not going to see a new low being made as we pull back. But if we take a look at the 60 minute a little bit more close up, you can see that we have Fibonacci retracements based on the previous impulse up from that four hour move. And right now, looking at the 50% retracement, that's probably our highest probability target. Right around 1852.3 to 1847.5 is the zone there. And you actually have a Fibonacci level inside the middle of the zone. So I'd be watching that as a possible bouncing opportunity. So looking at smaller time frames, if you're looking intraday on the 15 minute time frame, uh, we have already tested this area of demand. I would look to see if any new supply zones form because we should push down towards that 1855 area that I mentioned on the one hour time frame, But that'll, you know, hopefully we'll see some zones that might form this week. We don't have any yet, but that'll give us some shorting opportunities. Silver is a slightly different story. Looking at the weekly chart of silver, you'll notice we were in a bit of a downtrend here. Actually, from July of this year onwards, we've been sideways and we were near the bottom of the sideways range. It looks like we're going to be moving up to the top of the sideways range. So we have an inverted, I'm sorry, yeah, inverted head and shoulders, left shoulder, head, right shoulder. You can see a little better on this daily chart as well. And the measured move pretty much takes us right to the top. We've already retested the neckline as well. We've closed above, retested. We did all the, you know, crossed all the T's, dotted all the I's, and are seeing lots of bullish activity that should continue to push us higher. So we're going to look for some opportunities to buy on the pullbacks, basically. Looking at this smaller time frame, the four hour chart, you can see that uh, we've got some probable targets along the way that could stall price, but for the most part, we're going to look to buy. And I don't, unfortunately, I don't have any good demand zones here to buy yet, so we can drop down to a smaller time frame. And there we've got it. So, drop base rally area of demand on the 60 minute, right at 24,770, 24,645, to take us all the way up to that daily measured move eventually. And you can take some profits along the way. At those Fibonacci extensions I mentioned on the four hour time frame. So if you just jump back one, target number one would be 25,640, target two, 25,975, target three, 26,345. Ultimately, though, we're going up to 28,41. And that's our ultimate move on this inverted head and shoulders, the measured move up and the top of the range. So it kind of lines up with all that. So if you go down to a 15 minute chart, let's see, this was a demand at 770. This is a higher demand zone. We may not make it all the way down to the 24,770, which is down here. You can see this is that zone I was looking at on the 60 minute time frame, rally based rally. We actually have a zone here at 25,135 that could produce us a nice little buying opportunity as well if we bounce out of that area. Just keep in mind, we need to stay above 40 on the RSI. Otherwise, we're likely to break down through that level. So that was a quick rundown on gold and silver for this week. Very, very bullish on uh, silver. Not so bullish on gold. We should expect a little bit of a pullback before it continues to push higher longer term. If you got any more questions, let me know. Feel free to hit the subscribe button so you can keep an, abreast of all the videos I'll be putting out once a week on the futures markets. And you can follow me on Twitter at TraderBDub. It's Trader B, D as in dog, U, B as in boy. So Trader B-Dub on Twitter. And until next time, trade safe, trade well, everyone. Take care.